welcome to another ride along with goggles and um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Truckee so we're going to do a, a dispatch ourselves a job with Truckee um, and then we're going to go and take that drive and that'll be Thursday's video so um, to start you've got to have Truckee installed and I imagine a lot of you already do for the various features it has if you don't I'll put a link to it and when you install it just you know follow the defaults it's an app by Overwolf and um, it'll ask you if you know you can have access to your PC well of course it needs to so it can in interact with uh, American Truck Simulator so you know just give it I've, I've probably gone through the install before if I haven't you get in trouble let me know maybe I could add that but anyway um, I've got it installed, we want to run it, we want to dispatch ourselves a job. So job one is to do a game save, you got to do a quick save. So I have um, a quick save uh, button, now where did I put it? Oh shoot, I um, hope it's here. <laughs> where did I move it down here? I forget, this could be it here. And so, yeah, there it is. So you can see the little icon going in the top left of the screen. So there's my quick save. Now we can go in and start uh, uh, the dis um, Truckee Dispatch. So the hotkey or the key combination is Alt D, Alt Dan. So you hit that, and you can do it on your keyboard if that's what you got. Your Alt D. It's going to bring up Truckee. Yeah, we're going to go into the cargo market because freight market is well. I I just like the cargo. Pulling my own trailer. It recognizes the trailer, which is good. Uh, three axle, uh, or sorry, uh, low boy triple, three, three, three is axle configuration, wooden deck. We want to go to, or we are in, sorry, the Dales. So we'll type in the Dales, most of it anyway, and then click that. Source company, we want to pick up at the railway here because I was scoping out the jobs and I can get a log loader here or log stacker, which is what I want to haul. So select rail export under cargo. We're gonna look for the log stacker. Log stacker, there we go. Has an H beside it for heavy. Oh, here comes the train, how convenient. Um, we're gonna leave the urgency at normal. As we're gonna maybe reroute. We'll look at the, once we get the, the job, we'll look at the route and see what we wanna do with it. Um. Yeah, so normal urgency destination is going to be, you want to drag it up to Port Angeles. Don't ask me why, I just want to do it. <laughs> Port Angeles. <clears throat> uh, we, we want to go to, what, we want to go to the sawmill. Where is it here? Oh, Deep Grove Sawmill. Yeah, we want to take it to the sawmill. I don't know if that's most... I, I think it's hard to get this trailer in there. It's a pretty narrow road we go in off, so could be kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to make the uh, pickup and drop off hard. But because I have hard parking turned on, uh, I'm going to click long trailers here, and that should prevent me from having to back in with a triple low boy, which doesn't really work. And if it's slippery and you're on dirt, you can push that stinger all out of the sideways and push it across the gravel and back it up like it was a double and then go forward if you got room and get it straightened out. But, I mean, that's a gamble. So, here we are. We've got everything done. Uh, source city, source company, cargo, urgency, destination, uh, destination company, parking difficulty and whether you're long or short trailers and you use the long trailers too if you uh got like a turnpike double or things like that for sure um if i had a b double on i would not select that because i'd want to try the hard parking so we're going to add the delivery and we're going to get a little warning down here and this yellow button is going to tell us we've got a pending uh delivery here we have to uh, update the game save so that was that quick save we did earlier. So that's going to get updated now with this information. We see the green progress bar. 
and there it is so now all we have to do is close this and we're going to go to uh, get back into uh, oh actually all we have to do is load our uh, game save so that's quick save load it I'll load that and your gate your screen will freeze here for a matter of you know I don't know 30 seconds maybe it takes a little while it's probably different on different PCs. <clears throat> anyway, we should be done with the keyboard. Well, this sorts itself out. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. It can take time. But don't go uh, interrupting it. Like if you you know do the Control Alt Delete to find out what's going on, it's not going to make it. Uh, work any better just got to be patient which <laughs> there we go yay yeah yes so there it is so we've got our job and we see um, if we you can see uh, can you see if you look way over on the right there you can see the uh, white thingy, the parking thing on the ground. So we don't go up there and drive onto the job icon thing, the green goblin. We, we've got our parking assigned, and if we hopped in the truck and we start it up so we can see our GPS, you can see on our GPS, if I, uh, I'll just uh, zoom in on it a bit. You see it's got the green flag. So if I had to set this job up and I was over at um, the service station or somewhere else and I set it up from a central location in the town, uh, you just look for the green flag and that's where your job is. So there we go. We've got a job. We can go and do it at our leisure. And um, yeah, hope that helps. And uh, um, if you have issues getting Truckee started, let me know. I can always... Uh, add that to the video but anyway uh, I'm gonna let you guys go and then I'm gonna go off and um, do this delivery for Thursday's video take care guys and chat later bye for now